Okay, let's talk about the I step. So if you're watching this video, um, I'm assuming you are a high school student in the state of Indiana, and the I step, or specifically the I step plus, stands for the Indiana Statewide Testing for Educational Progress. And I believe the plus um, for this means there's been an enhancement to this test. I could be wrong, but I think that's what that is. So the I-STEP has been around for some time. I believe there is talk of phasing this out to go to another test. But uh, essentially, um, all states uh, uh, have some sort of kind of graduation test or, you know, finishing up. When you finish up high school, basically confirmation uh, or verification that you learned the core uh, skills that you, you know, talk about reading, writing, mathematics, etc. So in Indiana, it's been uh, the I-STEP and I-STEP Plus. So if you're watching this video, I assume that you are finishing up high school in Indiana and you're going to be taking a test. It's likely going to be the I-STEP uh, Plus. And what we're going to be talking about here is a math practice problem that Hopefully uh, you can fairly easily tackle, okay, because it is what I would classify as kind of basic high school level mathematics. But we'll get to that problem here. It's kind of like a pop quiz, just a check on your understanding of your current math skills. But before we get going, let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Taba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over uh, the last several years, I've constructed many online math courses to include and I step plus math prep course. So if you want to check that out, I'm going to leave the link to that in the description of this video, but very comprehensive uh, course that relates to, you know, essentially high school mathematics. Okay. A lot of algebra, geometry, et cetera. And that's the kind of uh, math that you really need to, um, you know, be pretty proficient at to do well on a test like the I step plus. Okay. So let's go ahead and get to our problem. And here we have a triangle, okay, and you can see it has uh, 50 degrees here in this uh, corner of the triangle. Then here I have 70 degrees, and then over here I have 4x degrees, okay? So what I'd like you to do is to tell me what that angle measure is, okay? What is the measure of this angle right there? Okay, now, uh, obviously I'm going to solve the problem. I'm going to give you a hint here in a second. If you don't want to hear the hint, I'm going to encourage you to you know, just pause the video now and go ahead and try this real quick. If you're not quite sure and want to hear the hint, <laughs> go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so here comes the hint. All right, so we're dealing with a triangle, right? Well, the key to uh, solving this problem is you got to know something very fundamental about triangles, okay? And the, one of the most fundamental concepts or fundamental properties of triangles is that the sum of the angles, okay, in other words, you take this angle plus this angle plus this angle, all three angles in a triangle, they always add up to what, okay? It's 180 degrees, okay? No matter what triangle you're dealing with, the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees always, okay? So that's your hint. Uh, now, with that hint, if you think you know now how to solve the problem, I would encourage you to do so. All right, so now I'm going to solve the problem. Okay, so now that we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees, we can just go ahead and construct a basic equation, meaning that we take 50 degrees plus the 70 degrees over here plus this angle. This angle here is 4x degrees, okay? I'll just write it as 4x, okay? When, matter of fact, let's just go ahead and get rid of the degree symbols. We don't have to really write those in because we're just doing an equation. But we add up all three of these angles, this angle plus this angle plus this angle, we're going to get 180 degrees, all right, or 180. So at this point, we have a basic equation, all right? And hopefully, you can solve this equation. So at this point, if you think that you know how to do this, and hopefully you can, because this is another basic level type of problem that you should be able to do pretty, you know, if you're ready for the I step plus, you should be able to conquer this. But go ahead and pause the video and see if you can solve 4x. Okay, so let's go ahead and get uh, to this. So we got 50 plus 70, and that, according to my calculations, will be 120, right? So that's 120 degrees there, okay? 
plus 4x is equal to 180. All right, so what do we do now? Well, we want to go ahead and subtract 120 from both sides of the equation. And I get what? I get 4x is equal to 60, okay? And now what do I do? Well, at this point, you want to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 4. So that's going to give me x is equal to 60 divided by 4 is what? 15, okay? All right, so x is equal to 15. But remember, my angle is 4x, okay? So 4x is equal to 60. So hopefully, some of you picked up on that right there. 4x is equal to 60, so this would be 60 degrees right here, okay? Now, if we did this correctly, we have 60 and 50, okay, which would be, would be what? That would be a total of 110 degrees, right? So, and then we add in this 70 degrees here, and 70 plus the 110 is 180 degrees. So that is correct, right? So that was the missing angle, 60 degrees. And this is how you uh, approach problems like this. This is a pretty common, very common uh, problem. You can uh, do this type of problem with triangles or rectangles, any kind of quadrilateral. Remember, a quadrilateral is a four-sided figure. And to solve this type of problem involving quadrilaterals, you got to know that the sum total of all the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. All right, so basic geometric properties, um, but this is a very typical kind of problem. So hopefully you did well, okay? Um, if you needed a few hints, no problem, okay? Remember, the whole idea of this video is just to give you feedback on where, you know, you kind of, you know, need to be. Now, let's say you did get this right, right, but no means is that verification that you're completely ready for the I step plus. There's a lot of math that's going to be on there, okay? So, uh, but you know, it's just uh, designed, this problem is just designed as a quick pop quiz. Okay, so let's go to wrap up this video. What I always tell uh, uh, those of you that watch my videos like this is when you're preparing for an exam like the I step plus, Always take full advantage of what your teacher is saying, all the uh, resources in your school, okay? You always start there. Believe me, I'm a teacher. I know, you know, teachers are the most, uh, you know, well-informed, up-to-date on what's going on right now. So, you know, don't ignore that and just start immediately, you know, looking for, you know, even if you don't feel like your teacher and you connect, you know, well in terms of, you don't like your teacher or whatever the case is, you still need to maximize that resource. But if you do need something supplemental um, beyond what you're getting in school, a course like my I-STEP math prep course, it would be extremely beneficial to you. It's very, very comprehensive. Um, and trust me, I cover a lot of math. So again, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description of this video. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, I've been on YouTube for a good 12 years. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos currently on my channel that I help, can help you out. Um, uh, and I'm posting stuff all the time. So hopefully you consider uh, subscribing. Hey, if you like the video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. What's your uh, plans after high school? Are you considering going to college? You're not quite sure yet. Uh, maybe you want to go to a trade school. Uh, maybe you're going to go in the military. A lot of good options. Um, but one thing, you know, whether you go to college, trade school, um, military, or, you know, just go, go into the workforce, all these things are going to require you to work hard and, uh, you know, be committed to a course of action. So, you know, I step plus, if you've got to take this uh, test, you know, take everything that, you know, is important in your life um, seriously, okay, and put in the effort. And by virtue of you watching this video, you know, that's a, you know, a pretty good sign that you are indeed, you know, uh, taking the I-STEP Plus seriously. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in uh, your education. And uh, thank you for your time. And have a great day.